Hi guys. These logs have been sitting in the front yard for a long time. And it doesn't seem like we're ever going to get them sawed here. They're actually Jeff's logs and Jeff's friend's logs, so we're going to go down there. This one here is uh, 30, I guess you can see it's 32 on the big end. Uh, they're 16 and a half feet long. This end here is uh, about 29 in the bark. This one here should probably be, I don't know what this one is. This is 31 by 29 and a half. Anyhow, they were sitting over here in the groundhogs. There's two more of them over there. I'll take them down. They were sitting right here and the groundhogs, Max Deer, started tunneling. So this, this pyramid of dirt here was stacking up the logs, getting all over the logs, messing them up. So I wanted to get them out of here. The shovel foals out are where I started filling in his hole. And he's in there right now too. I can't, oh, the hole is right here. But that was, I used a digging bar to pound it down in there. And that hole went down in there forever. So I'll have to come up and probably grade this out a little bit. They even made a heck of a mess. I had them on boards. So um, they weren't, weren't as bad as they were supposed to be. Then you got those little, see these little trail here? Those are those volts that get into everything. There's some trails over there. They're just, they're just nasty little animals. Anyhow, those are going down to Jeffrey's tomorrow. And we'll, st even if they go down to Jeffrey's, you know, he's got the log turner, which is a uh, good thing to have when, when you have logs like that. Not that I really care. I, I'd still, still saw them on my mill, and I might saw those down on the mill down there. I, I just don't know what's going on yet, but um, had to get them out of here before the groundhogs messed them up anymore. But even if we saw them down at Jeffrey's, you'll get to see them sawed down there. So stay tuned. I don't know when he's going to get his friend to come over and help. We'll see you later. Hi guys, here we are back at the sawmill. Guess I got a couple things to address. A lot of people accused me of clickbaiting on that last sawmill video back here because of the devastating crash. That was a devastating crash to me because I spent my good time whittling down a pine log, videoing it for you people, and then I guess I was throwing the trims down over here because I was to that point and one of the trims hit the uh, th uh, tripod and knocked the camera over. Well, at the time, I didn't think much of it. I just come over and stand the camera up. I've crashed the, crashed the camera a million times, but this time, for some reason, it shut off. And when it shut off, I think it shut off before, and you just turn it back on, but you didn't lose the content of the video. And so that's why if you, if you go back and listen to it, to cover my butt or whatever, I said, well, it doesn't make any difference because now I know how to edit. I know how to put two movies, to, movies together. So before, if I was doing something like that and got into 10 minutes and crashed it, you got a 10-minute movie, and that's all it was. So I didn't think anything about it, and it was it was sawing a nice, in a nice 11-foot log. I mean, I got a little bit of crap here I got to clean up, but, uh, you know, if you work on something and you get through it or almost through it and then it crashes, I think you'd be devastated. It cost me money because, you know, I lost that part of the video, which I would have made money on. It cost me time cost me a lot more time because it takes more time to do a video um, than if I didn't do a video. So for you people that kind of said, oh, it's clickbait and stuff like that, you know, go watch another channel, okay? Because I don't really do too many clickbaits, okay? And that one to me wasn't one, you know? And if, if, if you just came here for the crash, then I don't want you here either, okay? So... You know that that kind of it kind of upset me that you know that that you guys thought I was doing that kind of stuff. So um, that's just the way it is, and that's the way I am, and so that's where it is. So I got another one to saw. I got the looks like I got the carriage down there, and uh, so I don't knock the camera uh, uh, camera off and crash everything. I'll probably just do it off camera and get it down there and just take my time getting it down there. I got to. Um, Whittle up the ends a little bit. That's a, I think that's a right good size log. I think it's, I don't know what it is. I don't see a tape here. We'll tape the measure. But I don't. I know you guys don't want me to, want to see me saw it because if I crash, there won't be many. Okay, it's 23 here. Uh, These are the crows. Wow. 
You can't see them. There must be 20 crows up there. This in here you can't measure. I think I already did this anyway now that I think about it. And it's got a real bad spot in it, so I don't know. 24. It, I know it's bigger at this end, but you can't get a good measurement on it. So I'm going to roll the carriage down and oh, let's see how long it is. I don't think it's that. It's not as long as the ones I've been sawing. Eh, it's somewhere at 11 and a half feet. You know, I think those 11 and a half feet, it might go in there. This is all the, uh, all the, uh, this is that log I sawed. I brought in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight inches long. Maybe that was the ninth one. This is what I've sawed so far. Nobody's interested in it. I got it at 75 cents a board foot, basically, and nobody's interested in it. Uh-oh, tire there is losing a little bit of air. Probably because it's got too much weight on it. This whole trailer's had a better day. Anyhow, I'm going to get this on the mill, see if I can't take one cut off of it, and uh, just to flatten up a side. I'll probably bring you along for that. So uh, that's where we're at. Push the... Push the... Uh, carriage down. I'm not going to video. I'll video pushing the carriage down. That's pretty easy. Little carriages are easy to move. Little carriages are easy to move. I know I need to bring those up because I got a bigger log. I know I got to reseat it. And it's a big enough log that I'll strap the old carriage down. So I guess you didn't see that once I moved it. I uh, saw a little bit of it. So I'm going to put you guys on hold for a little while and be back when uh, the log's on there and ready to take a chunk. See you in a bit. Hi guys. Um, we're back at the sawmill still here loading that log up and you guys accused me of clickbait all the time or last time and kind of hammered at me good so I decided I'm not going to do as much video of nonsense as going on. So, and you don't watch anything, you know, the, the channel's not making any money, which is here or there. This is what I do. I'm thinking about closing it down, to be honest with you. Just because, or not closing it down, just stop making videos because it takes me twice as long to do a video um, than just doing it normally. And you guys don't watch anything but the sawmill most of the time. Sometimes when I have some splitting logs, but I'm just not into that right this minute. It should be in good weather. Anyhow, so I didn't video the loading of that log. Well, we had another crash. And you ain't going to see this crash either. You can see the aftermath of, aftermath of the crash. So, that's what it is. And what it is, is this is the most improper mill that ever was. Because this board here just sits in, in this little groove here and sits in that little groove, sits on the carriage over there. This one here just slides up onto the carriage there. Well, when I got this, this log was already on the carriage at this end, and the dog was in it, and I was pushing that side in with the jack over there, and it was going good, and then the log was unhappy, and it went twisted that way. No, it twisted that way, and it threw both of those on the ground, and this came down. So that's the way it is, and I know half of you are going to say, well, just go get your loader and get it out. And I might have to end up doing that in the long run. But right now, I'm not interested in doing that. Because it's going to take me a half hour to get up here with a piece of equipment to get it on there. And it's going to take me a half hour to load it by hand. So, I'd bring you along with me putting this back on. But nobody's going to watch it. I'm not going to get any views. I'm not getting any views on anything. Nobody's sharing. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's that. So, I'm seriously thinking about just shutting the whole YouTube or, or stop doing videos because just just when I have a, a log on the mill, I'll throw saw on it, and that's about it. I, I don't know. I'm doing a lot of goofy stuff here, and um, but there's no views. And by the time you take the camera out and you go get this and you go get that, then you put it on the two. You you've taken you ain't making a dollar an hour, and it slows you down to a point where you might be in the negative thing. So. Anyhow, I'm going to put that log back on, and I'm not going to bring you along. I'll bring it along when it's on there and hope that I take a slice off of it. So we'll be back in a little bit. And yes, I had another crash at the sawmill, and this time you can see what crashed, but you just couldn't see the damn crash. Bye. Well, to start with, I'll show you something, but I, something I found interesting. 
the log's fairly balanced. This is the old old style cant hook. And so what I did is just try to, well, let's see where it's at. Now, I could pick that up because it's balanced, okay, but it's a little heavy. So I figured I'd get the log right one out. I'm not cracking on log right, but it's new versus old. This one here, it just don't bite the way them old ones do. I figured I could pick it up, right? Look at that. You got to get out to here before it even starts. And it's, it's easier with a shorter one. So I guess that's why you have more than one tool. Anyhow, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. So now I'm going to just go to another plan. Take, try to take the easiest way out, guys. So we'll see you in a little bit. Well, guys, if I hadn't been filming this, I'd been done by now. I think. Time will tell. Is all I did was use the old style, pick it up, and slide the big block under. It wasn't far enough that I could catch that with the tooth, so I raised it up again with the old style and put another block under it. Now, I could probably keep going with that if I wanted to, um, but I'm going to try jacking it now, and uh, I don't know what time it is. It ain't taking a whole lot of time so far. I've been maybe... I don't think I've been five minutes on it yet. And I know if, just for me to walk down and get, the, get a machine would take me longer than five minutes. So we'll see what this will do. I, I don't even think I need the jack handle. It might come down. I guess I ought to have some other blocks there to throw in there as it gets up higher. Now that I think about it. So, of course I don't have any handy. Because I don't want to lose what I got. Of course, it could roll front or back, and I could lose it, but who knows? It, it might come off up there. Another block. Ouch. Man, I hit a sliver there. Ain't got much in the block department. Ah, uh, here's a couple over here. They're not as big as I'd like to have. But gotta go road trip. I guess I'll title this one after the crash or another crash. Then you won't look at it because because it says after the crash. I'm out of click, click, click. This is quick step down, so it's going to boom. That's the boom. Now we're just going to go in and... Eh, it doesn't really have a whole lot to catch on there. Ah. Well, I guess I'm just going to let you guys suffer through this.
That's wanting to slide. It's going to crash off that way. Don't want it to crash that way. I don't have my notch in the right spot here. This isn't particularly hard. Um, it's about ready to lose it, I think. Actually, it's trying to roll onto the kind of touch and go here. Like right now, it's a mouse trap. Oh, there's the other blocks that I'm always using. I've done this once before, guys, but it's been a long time. Been a long time. I guess I want to go push that in further. One's got too much dirt on it. I think I'll get another bite. Sitting, hitting. That's that's why that's when I clean the logs off. That's what I'm hitting on the other side now. Is a is a stupid. I missed one of those little bullets. It's a little knobby in there. Hitting it. Kind of. I'm going to let it down and start over again. And I can't get a bite. For like cutting another. Cutting another spot. As it's turning, that knot's coming back to haunt me for not cutting it off. You can't see it there, but it's getting into play now. The angle of this, it might just tip over onto the mill. If I get hickory out here, it's not quite there. That's getting pretty up there, though. That's kind of what I was hoping it would do. Oh, I ran out of jack. But might be able to get one of these under there. Uh. <laughs> Not quite. But I think it'll be all right to let it down. Got a sliver. All right, we're going to see what's going to crash now, because it's, uh, it's crashable. Hold on. Nothing too bad there. Now, hopefully, it'll just go on. how it's not spinning? That's because it's a happy log where it's at. Now it's starting to twirl a little bit. Probably hitting the head block at the other end. Yeah. Oh, it's hitting the dog. I 
I had that dogged in so because I knew sometimes they come out like that. I got splinters all over my hand. So how much time do we got in it now? Maybe five minutes before. Maybe five minutes before uh, the film started. I, I'm not sure. Uh, quick down. But that's basically. Uh, We don't have 10 minutes, I don't have 10 minutes in this, and I know to go get the piece of equipment. Now the, the same thing happens when you go get the equipment, you gotta put everything back too. So all this crap has gotta get put back too. Actually those, I think those are part of something else. I think these are part of my covering over that. So I bet, Don't wear gloves. Don't tell me to wear gloves. I don't wear gloves. Now this is where we were before we crashed. This is almost exactly where we were before it crashed. Okay. This board was up here. Ah. As it always is. This board was up here. Somehow it man, for some reason I'm getting slippery. And it was all I did was basically go over there with uh the jack because I didn't feel like using Buford. You can see I took Buford over there. I said, nah, I'll just I'll just roll it in. So maybe we won't crash. But it's back on. So what what did it take? Maybe 10 minutes. See, that's, that's what happened. This didn't go in the way I wanted it to go in. There it's going. I wanted it to roll. So that's uh that's all right. You know, I got the chainsaw out. That'll probably uh I don't know where we're at here. Yeah, this has got to go in quite a bit. Did a little ground hall work there myself. But see the log's happy where it's at now. So I could run it through the sawmill. I got bleed. I could run it through the sawmill. And uh, if it came on hooked, it wouldn't go anywhere. So I don't know if I can push that in by here from there or not. No. That's a right heavy log. Of course, I brought Buford back. You're still in there. And yeah, it'd probably be ha easier if you had a helper. Now I just got to set the taper. It's re re ready to take a chunk off of. Set the taper. If I turn the camera off, I have another crash. It's a lot easier to recede to set the taper on a big lawn. Either that or you're going to be bending over. You can do it any way you want. the back. Yeah, I 
I think I'll taper it just a hair more. Probably don't need to. One more click. It's got a, this got a little bit of a bow to it. See, it's already sliding now where you want it to slide, as opposed to rolling. Take my strap off. Fish ready to go. So, I know my first cut, I got to get the tape out. I got 22 plus whatever I got back here, which is about two and a half. So that's 24 and a half. So I want to go at about 22. I'm going to go up and touch off. After 23, I'm going to go up and touch it off, so I'll bring you along for that. Whew. So what's the time up there on the clock say? It says 10 of. I don't remember when I started to look at it. Oops. See the clock up there? I guess you can zoom in on that. It says 10 of. So I don't know how long it took me. But that was totally loading the log. That, that wasn't the cleanup from the crash. Which, you know, figure it any way you want to figure it. Um, trying to get the, this thing fairly, fairly straight. So I'll probably only take one cut. I don't know. It's, it's got a bow to it. Don't like bowed logs, banana logs, but it's good log. There's, there's not that much banana in it that you're going to hurt yourself with. I'm going to pick up a few things that dropped off. Alright, put your ears on. We're going to take a slice. Set of wood.
that's about it for this video. I told you I was going to take a couple slices. My magic number is 23.4. It's not 21.4. I added a, I added a four inch taller blade on that. I think is what I did or something. I get two more inches, so four inches. I don't know what it is, but it's it's 23, 23.4, and I just never put the three on. I'm going to roll that 180 is what I'm going to try to do, and I'm going to put another. Uh, Wonder where that three went. It used to be around here someplace. There it is. You can't see it. Right there. Probably still can't see it. Anyhow, I'm gonna try to roll this uh, using the log right. And I'm gonna make it a different video or a different piece. So I'm gonna shut it off and restart it. So we'll see you in a bit.